to in the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. Yes, I know. I, I'm not sure what happened. Literally, we're you're sending no audio to us. Yes, I, I, I understand that. Um, we're trying to fix it. Uh, I don't know what happened. Can't please clarify because you're, you're sending no audio to us. There's nothing incoming. I'm only video. I'm with him now. Yeah, I'm with him. 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 Yeah, I'm with War for the kingdom. You know, end my race. Where you end your race. This is the reason why we have come. And it shall be well with everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. If you want to know how far we have gone, visit your YouTube. Start for Prophet Lotu, you will see almost everything there. You know, as we're in the studio now on Facebook, share with somebody. It says, there's a message that is scarce. The kingdom of God, many don't believe in it that it will come. 
Many just believe you know, nobody knows about, uh, you know, you don't know what is happening here or not. Talkless of heavenly, you know, heavenly, they are just saying anything. So most people don't know how to even talk about it. Even most pastors, most prophets, brethren, bishops don't know how to talk about it. When they get to a point, you know, they are stuck. We are stuck like women. So, but thank God for the grace that God is given to let us go and talk about what he wanted at this time. Share with somebody. If you have somebody in Nigeria, Africa, you want him to be part of this, tell that person to join us on Legend Platform TV on subscription. Say, so, uh, subscribe to it, you'll be able to go along with us as we're in the studio now. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, why don't you beckon to somebody very near or far from you? Tell that person to join us on Faith World TV on Channel Sky 588. Faith World TV, Channel Sky 588. No, no, pick your phone. Tell somebody around you. It's a message we need to hear that we can carry them you know, into our bosom and share with other people that, hey, there is need for us to do some things for us to achieve the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is far from food that we eat, far from our position, far from our talents and you know, some people call it gift and talents of God. It's more than dancing, even preaching. The kingdom of God is more than you know preaching the you know the word is uh, is about doing, working it out. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And what is it that God is giving to us to talk about at this time? We'll be talking about this for a while. And I said last week, it is it is the more we are breaking the bread, which is the word of God, the more we are seeing the lengthening of this word, the the, 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 the bigness of the, the the broadening of this word that we are talking about. The word is so fast that we don't know where we can even break it enough. The school of life, the life he gave to us in the Garden of Eden, that we lose the devil. The kingdom of God is more than because of ignorance. You know, in most times we lose our things, our treasures to the devil because of our ignorance. Thank God for knowledge of God and his wisdom at this time again. Hallelujah. Amen. And for a while, We'll be talking about what God said. Hey, go and talk to my people, the heads of Abraham. People are these people who call themselves the sons and daughters of Abraham. Here from the same loins of Abraham, family of Abraham. You cannot cut me off. After all, Abraham is my father. Hallelujah. Christian and Muslim. God said he is hearing noise, you know, from heaven. Noise that is not accepted. It's not acceptable to God. What are these noise? Lambasting ourselves, you know, you know, shouting against one another, cursing each other, you know, lambasting one another, one the other. They don't, you know, instead of us to abide with the commandment, with the laws of the law for us. We are just talking against ourselves. We are arguing over, over all, over many things. That is not, you know, it's making us to fade the way, the path to the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Amen. The years of Abraham. Let us change our way of talking, you know, our way of, you know, you know, you know preaching the gospel. We have left some things that are supposed to preach. You have not finished preaching the gospel of righteousness in your in your domain, in your corridor, or no, in your, in your as a clergy, in your, in, in your church, in your mosque, in your religion. You have not convinced people that you shepherd to God, and you are, you know, you are trespassing. Hallelujah. Amen. Check from your home. Is everyone in your home doing the will of God that you need what to do? I need what to do. We need work to do. Start from somewhere. Instead of you no know, labasing, we'll be talking about this or this why. Where somebody says Jesus Christ has children and wife and you know, you know that's heresies. So don't instead of us to preach 
the righteousness of the Lord that God wanted. In order for us to enjoy peace of God in our world here, we left them and we are doing otherwise. Hallelujah. Amen. And we will be talking about this again that the ways of our Lord Jesus Christ is the best. When you see there are so many arguments in the world now, argument, argument, where we industrated, you know, so many gods, so many masters, and we left the primary one behind. The word Jesus Christ brought to us. You know, it is very painful at times that when people want to, when they want, they, they have sections that they bring out to support themselves against what God wants. Even in the word of God, mm, they just carve it. They, want, they just pick a chapter, I mean a verse. Instead of to read from above, from where the thing started, just pick one and they be deliberating about it. And God said, go and tell my people. That the ways of our Lord Jesus Christ is the best because He came to give heaven back to us. He came to give the kingdom of God back to us. We lost it. Even in the days of, of, of our forefathers in the wilderness, see, Jesus Christ came. We were messing up. You know, prophet messed up, priest messed up. Savannah so came to teach us and He observed everything He taught man. Unlike us today, we know how to cover ourselves up. You cover your wife, you cover your husband. That thing that you, ah, is not in my family, no, 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 I must shake my, instead of us to open up like Jesus Christ did. He corrected his, his, his followers. You know, he shouted at them, don't do it that way. But in our world of today, you pamper your children against the will of God. And you expect a better community. It can never happen. You expected a better house. You cannot get it. Jesus Christ's way is the best. Because he came to teach man what they needed to do. For them to have a peaceful communities, peaceful family, and peaceful communities nationwide and the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. And for a while now, for some weeks back, we've been talking about prayer. Like I said, I don't know what, who God wants. I know I've been receiving, you know, from people about this message. Thank God for that privilege. That yet they want to know more. And God has been meeting them. Prayer. There are so many things we'll be mentioning that prayer is about communicating with God. Have uh, where you can pray, how you can pray, when you can pray. We're talking about prayer, prayer. Even till last week, he said, No, prayer is about you coming, you know, to the heart of God. Do 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 your prayer, does he can he do anything with God? Yes, can do so many things. We said last week. Hallelujah. Now, yes, prayer can change your life if you come before the Lord. So what are we talking about today? We're talking about can your prayer circumstances change divine attention? Can your prayer circumstances change divine attention. You know, divine is from God. Attention of God. Can your prayer circumstances, what surrounding your prayer, can it change, you know, uh, God? Can it change the attention that you needed? Can your circumstances change the attention of God to you in prayer, in communicating with God? Can it because last week we said, can you change, can you, uh, with your prayer, can, can, God, can you change God's will? Can you just say, ah, I want you to do it this way. Can God, can, can God answer all your prayers? We said last week, can God answer your, all your prayers? Now today we want to see if your circumstances, if my circumstances, the reason why you come to God in prayer, if it can change the hand of the Lord, if it can move the hand of the Lord in prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. 
And it shall be well with us as we do so in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So before we move on, shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. we thank you once again. Thank you, Father. That because of the love you have for mankind, yes, you are telling us how to correct, how to put us right. Yes. So that we're able to come back to you. Yes. And blame you. Yes. And Lord, today, let this word of today yes. change us completely. Amen. Remove that which you don't put into our life. Amen. And put what you want in our life. Amen. So that we live the right, right of life. Mm. The, 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 the right life you want us to live. Yes. And begin to walk in it. Amen. Until Jesus Come. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me, I love that to say, I know his name. I know his name. His name is wonderful. I know his name. The wonderfulness of God changes the circumstances around us. What does he say to us in the book of Malachi chapter 3? Let's see what verse 5 to 7 says about God. And I will come near you. I will come near you. For judgment. For judgment. I will be a sweet witness. I will be a sweet witness. Against sorcerers. Against sorcerers. Against adulterers. Against adulterers. Against pejorers. Against the pejorers. Against those who exploit wage Against earners. those that exploit wage earners. Wages Earners. And widows and orphans. Widows as orphans. And against those who turn away an alien. And against those that turn away the alien. Those people that run away from their country who wanted to have a seed. You send them away. Because they do not fear me. Because they do not fear God. Says the Lord of hosts. Says the Lord of hosts. For I am the Lord. For I am the Lord. I do not change. I am the Lord, do not change. Therefore, you are not consumed. Yeah, that is the reason why you are not consumed, because I am not changed. That is why you have not consumed, because look at where we started. He said, I, I am a God that will judge you. I see everything that you do in the day of judgment. You don't need a lawyer. Ah! God. We, we, we must not, we must, we must be thinking about the last day. We are talking about prayer today. What is it that I want to talk about? They will say, can your circumstances, can it change the divine attention of God? Yeah, it can. Because we want us to know now that God is God who never change. His position never changes as God. He rules by himself. He do things by himself. And he said, I see you. All these your uh, errors, what you put into my community, we've read it. All those evils into our communities, we judge us over them. Yet, from the days of your fathers, from the days of your fathers, you have gone away from my ordinances. You have gone away from my ordinances and have not kept them. And you have not kept them. Return to me. Return to me. And I will return to you. And I will return to you. Says the Lord of hosts. Says the Lord of hosts. But you said. You said. In what way shall we return? That's okay, sir. You have been asking God, in what way? He said, don't do evil. You are still asking God, in what way? What have I done? Do we not know what we are doing that is not right? As an husband, wife, do you not know what you are doing to your husband, to your wife, to your friend? I will show you Pepe in this house. Don't you have them? Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So what does this say in the book of Isaiah, chapter 38? Verse 1 to 8. What to talk about? Can that your prayer, circumstances, can he hurt the, hurt the hand of the Lord? Can he stop God from doing what he wanted to do? Because it's God that no think by himself, do things by himself. He can't do. What does he say, sir? In those days. In those days. Ezekiah was sick. Ezekiah the king was sick. And near death. And he was near death. And uh, Isaiah the prophet. And Isaiah the prophet. The son of Amos. The son of Amos. Went to him. And God said it to him. And said, and to, said him, to him. Thus says the Lord. This is what God says. Set your house in order. Set your house in order. Organize your house. For you shall die. Let your be. will. Don't no, don't leave things untied in your house because you shall I, die. I, I am about it. to take you away. You shall die. Then Ezekiah told. Don't forget that that man called Ezekiah 
was a man of God, the king of Judah. He loved God so much. He served God so we hear what he meant today. What does he say for that, sir? Then Ezekiah turned his then face towards Ezekiah the Lord. Then Ezekiah now turned his face toward the Lord. And prayed to the Lord. He, you know, he said he turned his face towards the wall. wall. But I, I said, he turned his face towards God. And he prayed to God. Which means, you can turn your face to anywhere to pray to God. And he prayed to God. What was his prayer? And he said, and he said Remember now. Remember, oh God. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. I pray how I have walked before how you. How I have walked right before you. In the truth. In the truth. And with a loyal heart. And with a loyal heart. And I have done what is good. And I have sight. done good to your community, to your house, to, to your people. To your side. In your sight. And there's a guy. I have heard you, oh God, commending my service. I've had your God praising me to my face. And, ah. the, and this guy wept bitterly. And he wept bitterly. And the word of the Lord came Maybe, to maybe, maybe he was about 50 years of age or 60 years. I was still looking at some days. He could still spend. He could still enjoy, you know, you know, double pepper soup. All those <laughs> coffee in the morning, tea in bed. You know, all, all, all those roses, roses. He, want, he still want to enjoy life. He want to, he want to, oh my God, you know what enjoyment means. And what does God, the Lord say? And the word of the Lord came to and Isaiah. And the saying, word of the Lord now came back to Isaiah, the prophet again. Go. And go. And tell Ezekiah. And tell Ezekiah. Thus says the Lord. This is what God said again. The God of David, your father. Uh huh. I have heard your prayer. I have heard your prayer. I have seen your prayer. I have seen your prayer. I have seen your tears. Yes, I have seen your tears, your prayers. Surely I will add to your days 15 years. Surely I'm going to ask so that yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, all everything that you say is right. And God is the God of righteous. Righteousness now is his table. Yeah, too late. Yeah, yeah, too late. You saw me very well. Too late. Okay, okay, okay. Let me change my, my mind. Let me add more. To your year. I had to your year this 15 years. I had 15 years. I will deliver you. I will deliver you. And this city from the hand of the and, king of Asherah. And I will deliver this city from your enemies. And I will defend this city. And I will defend this city. And this is the sign to you. And this will be the sign from the Lord that the Lord will do these things which he has spoken. Yes. Behold. Because whenever you pray to God, God will pray back. I've been telling people, God will pray back to you. God will give you a word back for you to understand that truly God is speaking. Behold. Behold. I will bring the shadow on the sun there. Yes. Switch has gone down with the sun. That, that's okay, sir. Let's go to Matthew chapter 15. Matthew 15 from verse 21 to 28. Just to let us know that you can hurt the hand of the Lord if you have a genuine word before the Lord. Matthew 15. Yeah, 15, 21 to 28. Is it? He's just saying to them, don't worry. Uh, okay, okay, you have said right. Let me change my mind then. That is what you want to say. Yeah, okay. If that's it. Yes, let, 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 me, let me change my mind. What does this is that? 21 to 28. 21 to 28. Yes. Then. Then. Jesus went, from, went, went out from there. He went out from there. And departed to the region of Tyre. He departed to that region of Syria. And behold, and behold, a woman, a woman of Canaan, that's a Canaan woman, a Canaan woman, came from the region and cried out he to him. He came from that region, he cried like Hezekiah cried again. <laughs> Say, have mercy on me. Maybe you need to add crying to your prayer today before the Lord. And let God see that, yes, somebody's crying. And the woman cried again. Say, have mercy on me. He said, have mercy on me. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Son of David. Son of David. My daughter is severely My daughter is, 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 is severely possessed by demon. But he answered her. And Jesus answered her. Not a word. Not a word. And his disciples. He did the answer her a word. He, she fell, he fell on concern about what he, what he was saying. They all happened thereafter. And the, but 
he said, uh, uh, and but but he answered him not a word. And the disciple came and urged him, saying, "Send her away, for she cries out after after us." But he answered and said, "You know when where Jesus cries, when he didn't answer, answer her, that give room for the disciples too." Instead of them to appeal Jesus Christ, you know who I would not be. You know what they said to Jesus Christ? Send her away. She's disturbing us. Amen. Amen. But you want to see the situation that can make God attend to your custody. They will happen. But the answer has said. But Jesus Christ answer has said. I was not sent except to the lordship of the house of Israel. I was not sent to anyone except the household of Israel. Then she came and worshipped him. And this woman, where after Jesus Christ have said that, she came to worship Jesus again. Say, Lord. And say, Lord. Say, Yes. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. But he answered and said. And Jesus Christ has said. It is not good to take the children's it bread. It is not good to take a children's bread. And throw it to the little dog. And throw it to a little, either little or big dog. And she said. Ah! What a word. And the woman now said, Yes, yes, Lord, I know. Yet, even the little dogs eat the crumbs, even the fall. little dogs eat the crumb that fell which fall from, from the, the table, table of the masters. Then Jesus answered, uh, Jesus answered and said to her, and said to her, Oh woman, oh woman, great is your faith, great is your faith, let it be to you, let it be to you as you desire, as you desire. And her daughter, and her daughter was healed. Was healed from that very hour. immediately from that hour. Are you one of those that say I've been praying to God fifteen years ago? Look at what happened to this woman. Insulted to man, but look at what her faith brought to her. Are you one of those? That year you cannot stay long before the Lord. I said last week, tarry before the Lord's table. Don't run away from that table of the Lord. Let him see you weeping on his table. Even when people want to despise you, stay with the Lord on his table. Begin to pray to him. Shower your prayer before his table. Before his altar. He will give you the best. Circumstances can make God change his mind. She doesn't want to answer, he doesn't want to answer that woman. But because she stayed long and she got the right, she wanted from Jesus Christ. Luke chapter, sorry, Mark chapter 10. Let's see what 46 to 53 says to us. Huh. Quickly. Mark 10. You know, he just said to us that circumstances of God can change. Yes, Mark 10. What is this? Now, they came to Jericho. They came to Jericho. As he went out of Jericho with his disciples. As he went out to Jericho with his disciples. And a great multitude blind uh, Bartimaeus and, and the sons of Timaeus uh, Tim, uh, sat by the road begging. This blind man sat beside, you know, the road begging. Then what happened thereafter, sir? And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, yes, he began to cry out and say, He began to cry and said, Jesus. I said, He cry. If nothing happened, cry before the table of the Lord. He cried aloud, Jesus. Shouted, Jesus. Son of David. Son of David. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. The many want him to and be quiet. many want him to be quiet. But he cried out That all God the more. doesn't want to hear your cry, your weeping, your prayers. Maybe you have been discouraged. And <laughs> don't let anybody discourage you. You can pray in your house and God will hear you. Even when you, you are discouraged in your house, if your husband says, I don't want to hear you pray in this house, your wife says, I don't want to hear your voice in this house, you can find a place to cry to God. Mm. He says something for that. What does he say? And the, the many want him to then be quiet. They want him to be quiet. But he cried out all the more. Yes. 
The son of David had mercy on me. Yes. So Jesus stood still. There Jesus stood still. And commanded him to be called. And he commanded him to be called. Then they called the blind man. Then they called the blind man. Say to him. Say to him. Be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. Right. Rise. He's calling He's you. calling you. And they threw aside his garment. Yes. He rose. Yes. And came to Jesus. Yes. So Jesus answered and he, said, he, to he him, said to him. What do you want me to what do? What do you, you want me to do the, for you? The blind man said to him. He said to him. Rabboni. Rabboni. That I may that see I my may sight. see and may receive my sight. Then Jesus said to, to him. Then he said to him, Go your way. Go your way. Your faith has made your me faith me. has made me that something that God wanted for me and you. Circumstances. And whatever you, you whatever you put before the law matters to God. He is the one who will decide either to answer your prayer or not. But put more effort. Put more effort. Put more effort. Do you know there are so many people today that they were the problem of the, you know, of their own problems. They are the cause of their problem. And many because of what they went through in, 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 the, in, the, in the hands of their husband. They were using the same Yasina in their children's marriage. You are the cause of your daughter a marriage. You are the cause of your son a marriage. You are the reason why there is trouble in your family. And you want prayer. It will not be answered. Hallelujah. Amen. There are so many people, you know, in the Western world now. Maybe because of paper, because of settlement, because of, uh, you know, a uh, 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 green card, green, yellow card, a uh, 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 brown card, all you know, this you have, the uh, uh, passport you have. You don't want settled home, and you are praying all about. There's no way they, they are praying that you don't pray. Yeah. Even in the air, you are praying in the air, you are praying in the sea. And there will be no answer. It's about your character, it's about your attitude, it's about act, actions. And they want to silence him. He will never allow. They, they want to silence that woman. He never, she never allowed. Can your circumstances in prayer change, move the hand of the Lord? And he cried him more. Ah, Jesus Christ heard him when he spoke in the beginning. He ignored him. He want to see maybe <laughs> you try more. Somebody will say, why is it that you want me to try more? <clears throat> At your place of work, don't you try more for, for you to have a good report? If you want to learn how to drive, don't you try more to get your license? So when it comes to God, that you have one excuse or the other, but pray more. And see if that the hand of God will be shaken divinely to attend to your cause in prayer if you if you do more first king chapter 21 let's see what verse 72 to 29 says to us first king 21 we are talking about can your prayer circumstances change the divine attention of god it was a no to you can your attention can, can your prayer can your presentation again say to God, okay, go let me change my mind concerning him? Because it's God that does stay by himself. He, he authority by himself. Nobody controls him. So it's, it depends on how how you hook God, where you hook him. What does he say, sir? Look. Then no. 21. For me. First king. 21. Then the word of the Lord came to Elijah. Then the word of the Lord came to Elijah. This is the this, this is by it. Yes. So he, he said, Arise. Arise. Go down to the to go meet, back and go and meet Ahab. To meet Ahab. Yes, sir. King of Israel. Yes. Who lives in Samaria. Uh -huh. There he is. He is there. In the vineyard of Nabal. I know he has taken the vineyard of Nabal that does not be belong Where to him. He has gone down to take possession of it. Yes. You shall speak to him. You shall speak to him. Saying, Say, thus says the Lord. This is what God says. Have you murdered and also taken possession? Have you murdered and taken that possession? And you shall speak because to him. Because he told nobody to him. 
God sees everything and that you are speak to him. As we read in that Malachi, everything you do, he sees. Fornicator, he sees you. Killer, he sees you. You take away from somebody's job. He sees you. You are the one sent out your husband. He sees you. You sent out your wife. He sees you. You take away that job. He sees you. All those troubles you are causing, he sees you. The one he put in, he put in as the, he sees everything. He sees everything and in our heart, our thought. That is, you know, you know, you know, that politically troubling our community. But the day of judgment, it will just, you know, it will just bring everything as a, as a last card unto everyone. It is now that we can take. Is that something for that, sir? What does he say? And you shall speak to him. You shall speak to him. Saying, say, Thus says the Lord. This is the word of God. In the place where dog In the place the of where God. dog kill and, 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 lick. and lick the blood on Naboth, that is, that is dog the same. shall lick your blood, even yours. The same place. It will happen to you. So they have said to Elijah. They have said to Elijah. Have you found me? Have you found me? Oh my enemy. Oh my enemy. And he answered. So you are sitting again, my enemy. And he answered. Whenever God casts us all with things, somebody that God sent to is your enemy. It's happening now. I call it today. Instead of us to sit back and do the needful, nobody wants to hear the word of God now. You know. Uh, gazing, lesbianism is increasing now. You know, nakedness is increasing in our community now. Nobody wants to talk about it. They don't want anybody to talk about it. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't, don't let what people are doing around you make you to forsook or to 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 to, to share the way the ways of the Lord. It will be brutal the day of judgment. There are laws that God has given. There are laws in the land. Even in the land. It's because we are just overlooking them. Now, in those days when you are coming to, to worship God, you don't dress anyhow. But today is permitted. You can even wear your pants to the church and leave all your bones out. It doesn't matter. And just for the priest to just preach. They don't judge me. Because you are, you know, the communities of God for... You know, for righteousness is being polluted now. We are polluting it on daily basis. And it's not making God happy. Don't forget, in the day we, are we spoke about uh, uh, COVID, when it, is, it was coming, God said, because of our sin, we spoke about it, you know, to lens. So, now that we don't know what we are saying, God said, is, you know, the, the, is, this is a, 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 a rusty word. And he's tired of them. He want to, you know, want to destroy us. And you know how many people that died until mercy will be, until we began to pray for mercy of the Lord that is flying around about. Hallelujah! In a sinful world, there will be destruction. In a sinful life, there will be destruction. So it's unto you, not unto me. He says something for that, sir. What does he say? So Ahab said to Elijah. Ahab now said to Elijah, "Have you found me? Have you found me? Who oh, my enemy? You have seen me again." And he answered, "I answered. I have found you. I find you because you have sold yourself to do evil. Because you have sold yourself to do evil in the sight of the Lord. In the sight of the Lord. Behold, behold, I will bring calamity. God said He will bring calamity upon you I for your evil in your post post. So don't think that evil you have done because I have done it to my child, I have done it to my wife, I have done it to my husband, I have done it to my friend. It's a calamity. The Bible says, whatever you do." Do it as unto the Lord. Whatever you are doing unto your fellow human being around you, you are not doing to John. You are not doing to James. You are not doing to Jane. You are not doing to whatever name. You are doing it unto God. I am doing it unto God. So I must be careful what I do to my wife. What I think to about to make my wife cry. To make my husband cry. To make that your in-law cry. You are a rich man. A rich woman. Because of your, your riches. You are privy to throw away, you know, your, your, your in-law from that house. And from their marriage. Lambast them. He said, their the judgment is coming. That we ask you a question. You just institute marriage. God instituted it. You know, we talk the school of life from the Garden of Eden. Is, the, is what we are still following today. 
So you don't have right over everything that God created to destroy. He said something for that, sir. I will take away your post, uh, posterity. I will take away your posterity. And will cut off from Ahab I will, every I will day take away to. your people. Both bond and free. Yes. I will make your house like the house of Jeroboam. I will, I will make your home desolate. The son of Beba. <laughs> and like the house of Basa. I will the destroy. You will not have Abijah name Abijah anymore. Because of the provocation which you, with which you have provoked me. Because God said you have provoked me to have done that evil. You anger. think you kill that man, you kill that man. You that you are rich, you are rich. You kill that man, you kill that lady. You kill, you, do, you think God is happy about it? No, he's not happy. Mm. You cannot go scot free. Except you change, we are coming there. What does he say quickly, sir? He said something. Which you have provoked me to yes. anger. Yes. And made Israel sing. Uh -huh. And concerning Jezebel. You make people sin. There are people you are a leader. You are making your followers to sin. You know it was not the one that killed Nabo by himself. It was his followers. His servant that killed him. You made that man to sin. You made that woman to sin. You made your daughter to sin. Your children to sin. Your followers to sin. By doing the air against the will of God. You will ask questions that day. The day of judgment, I will ask mine. And concerning Jezebel, I will answer mine. You will answer yours. Every one of all you are president, you will answer a question that day. You keep people in your community because you are president, you are prime minister, you are a king, because you are governor, you are a senator, you will answer because you are you are you are just you are I am, I am. You will answer, we answer question that day. Answer to my question that day. Because that community is of the Lord. None of us will want any other person to destroy that your own in the estate you build. If you, somebody should come and bring fire and destroy those buildings you erected into your communities, into your estates, that's your industry. Will you be happy? You are destroyed the industry of God too. Do you want God to be happy? Is that something for us mm. to him? And uh, concerning Jezebel, concerning Jezebel, the Lord also spoke. The Lord spoke, saying, "He said, the dog, the dog, shall eat Jezebel shall by eat, the wall of Jezreel. Shall eat, not even lick her blood alone. Shall eat him. I mean, how the dog shall eat whoever belongs to Ahab. Yes, and dies in the city. Yes, and the boss of the air shall eat whoever dies in the field. Yes." But there was no like Ahab who showed himself to do wickedness in the sight of the Lord. Uh, because Jezebel, his wife, stride him off. Uh, and he... Ahab was a good man, but the wife mm. just tear him off. You that, your wife, your husband, is still just somebody, your friend, stare you, you know that lady, you know, who killed Sally, eh? who joined herself to kill, you went to school to study, and you you are you are you join other guns to kill another person. It was here to kill another man. Then what happened? And it behaved very abom abom abominable. It behaved abom abominably to, 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 to follow, follow idols. idols. According to all that the Amorites you know something is not good. Your wife tell you, say be careful because of the day of the Lord. Whom the me. Lord has cast out before the children of Israel. Yes. So it was, when they have had those two words. When I have now had these words. That he tore his clothes. He tore his clothes. And put sackcloth on his body. He, he put sackcloth on his sems. And fasted and laid and, his sackcloth. And he went before the Lord to fast, to pray to God. And went about mourning. Maybe he didn't know that what he wanted to do is evil to God. He thought that her power can do it. But when the word of the Lord came to him, ah! So I've done abominably before the Lord. So I've done evil to, so I'm no more a child of God. He tore his garment as a king. He puts arches upon himself. And he went into prayer before the Lord. What happened thereafter? And when about money? When about money? And the word of the Lord came to and Elijah. The word again came to Elijah. The dead, the 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 Tishibai. The Tishibai, yes, say. See how Ahab has humbled him. The Lord now came him. to the man of God and said, "Can you see how Ahab humbled himself before me?" Before me. 
Because he has humbled because himself. Because he has humbled himself before, before me. me. I will not bring the calamity. I will him not him bring him. the calamity upon him again. In his days. In his days. In the days of his son. In the days of his children. I will bring the calamity. I will his bring house. the calamity. That's okay, sir. Can your circumstances change the hands of the Lord? God has pronounced judgment upon him. He tore his garment. He went low before the Lord. There's no one God cannot bring back. What does he say to us at the book of Second Chronicles chapter 7? Let's see what verse 12 to 18 says. What does, does he want us to do to come back to him in prayer? Then the Lord the Lord appeared to Solomon. Then the night. Lord appeared to Solomon. That he can appear to anyone now today, anytime. It can be the night, it can be the morning, it can be, if it is God's appearance, he can choose any time to appear to anyone. He says something, sir. What does he say? By night. By night. I said to him. I said to him. I have your I have I have had your prayers. I have had your prayers. And I've chosen this place for my I prayer. have answered your prayer. You want me to choose a place. If you pray to God that God will come to your house, God will answer you. He said, I've had your prayer that you want me here. I will come here. The one of this is a house of sacrifice. Yes. When I shut up heaven, when I shut up heaven, and there is no rain, and there is no rain, or command the locusts to devour them, or when I have decided to destroy people, or send pestilence among or to, my people, to cause them trouble, if my people who are called, by if my name, then people that are called by my name, that call the same my people, humble themselves, if they humble themselves like they have did. And pray, and pray, and seek my face, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked and ways, and turn, and turn away from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from then I will hear from heaven, and we. Forgive. You are not turning away from your wicked ways. You want God to hear you. He will hear you and pretend you are not talking. I am not talking. Then uh, I, I will forgive. I will sins. forgive their sins and heal their land. There must be forgiveness of sin. Before the answering of prayers, there must be righteous them. Before you expect answer to prayer, I have said, I mean, uh, I mean, Ezekiah said, Ah, uh, you see how good I am before you. And God said, You are good. I have said, I have done evil. And God said, Oh, he recognized his wickedness. You don't recognize that you are wicked. And you think God will answer your prayers? It will not. Have, it will be using wickedness to, you know, to tap wickedness. He says something, sir. I love that place. Now my eyes will be open and he, my ears attentive to um, prayer made in this place. And my ears shall be open and be attentive to any prayer you render in your home in this place. For now. For now. I have chosen and sanctified this house. I have sanctified. I have chosen to sanctify your eyes, that your my, life, that my name. That my name may be there forever. May be there forever. And my eyes and my heart. And my eyes and my heart be there perpetually. Be there perpetually. Continually. So it says something in the book of Luke. Luke 15. Let's finish with it. Luke 15. Let's see what verse 8 to 20. I mean 18 to 24 says. Luke. Luke 15. From verse 18 to 24. He, you know, God wants to answer our prayers. Circumstances can change the sin of God. Luke 15. Yeah. Okay. Let's see from verse 18. Okay. To 24. What does it say? And we arise. And we arise. And go to my father. For the good son has taken everything. Vandalized it. Slander it. He came to himself. And we arise and go back to my father. And we say to him. And I will say to him. Father. Father. I have sinned. I have sinned. Against heaven. Against heaven and earth. I have disobeyed you. I have done evil. And I probably evil against you, Father. And I am no, no, I'm no longer worthy to be. I am no more one, no worthy to be your son, to be your daughter. Make me, make me like one of you. Make me a slave unto you. <clears throat> After all, slave in your house is very well. They have a very good place to sleep. They have good wear to wear. Make me one of them. I don't want to have authority in your house anymore. But make me you know, one of your slaves. 
your servant. Then what happened there? After? And he, he arose. And he arose. And came to his father. And came to his father. But when he was still a great way. When he was as far as no ways, miles to his father. His father saw him. His father smelled him. And they had compassion. He smelled him. him. Ah, my face. son is around. God wants to smell your coming back. God wants to smell my coming back. Recognize that you have a father that can turn this land again for you. As a nation, as a family, as individuals, you are straying away from the Lord. You are vandalizing the glory of God for your life. You can still come back. He said something for that, sir. What does he say quickly? And the son said to him, And the son said to him, Father, Father, I have seen against heaven. I have seen against heaven. And in your sight. And in your sight. And I'm no longer worthy to I be your son. I am no more worthy to be your son. But the father said to his son. He said to his father, many of us we are bragging. I am still a child of God. And you know what you are doing? I know what I'm doing behind. I am still, I'm still here. I am. And you carry your Bible, you are preaching. And you know what you are doing behind? But this man told his father, I am no more worthy to be your son, to be your daughter. Then he says, Bring something. out the best rope and put it on him. Uh, uh, he said, um, Go back to that, the, the next, the first was that. He said, Okay, I don't want to be your son. Okay, and the son said to him, The to son him, said to him, Father, Father, I have sinned against heaven. Yes. And in your sight. Yes. And I'm no longer worthy. I'm no more worthy to be called your son. To be called your son. But the father said to his But father, the father now said to his son, His father. Yes. His servants. Bring out the best rule. The father now said to the servants, ignore what the son was saying. Circumstances can make God to ignore whatever anybody is saying concerning you. <laughs> if you know how to place yourself, he came low before his father. Father, I have sinned against you. I am not worthy to be your son. If you make me your servant, I will still appreciate you. I will still respect you because I have went out there to see that yes, I have done abominable evil against you. Then his father said to the servant, what does he say, sir? Bring out the best robe. Bring out the best robe and put it on him. Because God is the one that has all authority. Whatever he says, that is what will happen. They do not listen to your to enemies. You know, to judge you. If you know, if I know how to bring myself low to before him. He will not answer to what the enemies are saying against you. He said, I don't want to be your son. The father said, it doesn't matter. What does he say for that? Uh, and, uh, and put a ring on his hand. And he put the rings on uh, his hand. And sanders on his feet. Sand on his feet. And bring the fatted cow. Father cow. Yeah, and kill it. Yes, eh? And let us eat. They him. celebrated him. For this, my son was dead. My son was dead. And he's alive again. And he's alive again. He was lost. He was lost. And he's found. And he's found. And he began to be married. That would be the story of somebody who knows how to walk his way back to God. A prayer. Walk yourself. Look for a way back to God. A humbleness of heart. Can your circumstances in prayer? Change the mind of the Lord. Change the hand of the Lord. Weave the hand of the Lord. Yes, he can. He you not to play your card before the Lord. A openness. If a heart can put himself low before the Lord, for God to say, ah, I didn't expect this man. Go and change him. He can change our difficulties, situations in prayer. If you know how to play our game with him. What are we talking about? Can your prayer circumstances change the divine attention of God? Yes, they can. If you know how to play your card in prayer with God, as we have said. And it shall be well with somebody today that is hearing me in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. If you want to be praying for me, God pray for you. Mm -hmm. May the Lord answer your prayers. Mm -hmm. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, if Jesus tarries, by the grace of God, you will come back the same time next week. If you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, please do so now. 
What is it to give life to Jesus Christ? Surrender yourself to the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ. Either you are atheist, either you are a pagan, either you are Habalist, either you are a Muslim, either you are a Christian. If you, if you don't submit yourself to the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ, you will not get you will you won't get it right. I won't get it right. You won't get it right. It's never I surrender, I surrender myself, I surrender my Jesus. If you don't, if you surrender to the Son, if you don't follow everything is taught, taught you might fail it. Till we come back next week, for me and for the man of God, we say God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. My name is Professor Stephen Lotu from International Christian Association. Please join me on every Thursday between 2 and 3 o'clock, you know, to hear what God is having for us at this time, the message of the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ the second time. This message is very needful at this time to prepare for the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's very essential, very important that yet you tell somebody to come and join you as you come. Don't come alone because it is very, very special and necessary. It shall be well with you as you do so in the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you.